LaMelo's lost it, stolen away. Oh, Steph Curry eyes the back of it. It's too amazing. Jokic between the wickets. Oh, and a finish from Millsap. Jokic. Oh, goodness. What a, what a find by Luka. Through the legs of Torian Prince. Torian Prince. Let low grabs it. Snaps now. Let pass to Osmond. Good bounce pass to Sexton. Through the wicket. Oh, my. Yeah. Stop oh, it. and then the, no. oh, behind the back wraparound oh. for Gordon. Oh. Come chill out. Oh, great no luck decision. That ball was going to Kyle Corbin. Pass by Zoe. Look at this. Behind the back. Throw it back. To the media. Oh, what a pass from Tayton and Williams with the finish. Knocked away. Anderson. Saves it. Loops it. Pass. Time to spin. Strip the ball. Oh, no. Oh, no. And turns the other one. Steal. Jailbreak, what a pass, what a pass, play. What's up, YouTube? It's your I'm back now. We got a big body banger 23 video. Now, first things first, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna notice this. I'm saying today, I am the Bill Dilla on your local corner, and I'm coming at y'all with this best pure playmaking point guard build yes sir you know i've been wanting to make this one as well i made the point forward build i believe if not then i'll make that as well but i did want to see what a pure playmaker would look like in this game you know how it would play and you know it, it is kind of similar to a play shot but it's not really like it's like you're going to be able to shoot with this build but it's just mainly playmaking focus you know to a t so i'll show you all that in a little bit but yeah all as always comment down below any builds y'all want you know no matter how wacky it is it could be a raw prospect fight reacts like it, it could be Javante davis he don't even play basketball he boxes but still let me know sorry for the late upload today you know i put on my community post but without further ado let's get right to the ash days for this pure playmaking point guard build so as you see is six foot five 200 pounds with a seven foot two wingspan and a defined body shape you know i thought these were all the best dimensions for this player i believe this has max wingspan as well and it's a pretty tall build for a point guard you know relative to point guards in 2k now for the attribute spread i'm going to put his close shot up to a 65 i'm going to put his driving lip all the way up to a 90 which unlocks a lot of uh, layup packages and i'm going to put his driving dunk up to a 35 for his shooting i'm going to put his mid-range shot up to an 83 i'm going to put his uh three-point shot up to an 80 and then i'm going to put his free throw rating up to a 68 for your playmaking you want to put your pass accuracy all the way up to an 86 you want to put your ball handling up to a 92 to unlock all dribble packages and then you want to put your speed ball up to a 90. for your defense and rebounding you want to put your interior defense up to a 65 put your perimeter defense up to an 80 and then put your uh your defense road up to a 35 my bad or not even 35 i upgraded that at the end of the video my bad but for physicals you want a 95 stamina a 70 vertical 80 speed 85 acceleration and as i you see i put the rest toward free throw and defensive and rebounding and this is pretty much the build man so like comment and subscribe if you are new as you see it's a pretty balanced build but obviously it's heavy on the playmaking you still will be, will be able to shoot and finish around the rim with this build but his best asset is dribbling and passing you know that's a pure playmaker you know and on top of that it can shoot middies it has an 83 point rating so it is consistent enough to shoot three-point shots as well now for the takeovers i go with ankle breaking shots and pull up precision but i have access to shot creating sharp shooting playmaking and lockdown takeovers so it is a pretty wide range to choose from you know for a pure playmaking point guard type of build so yeah you see in the shades of i get jason kitterson cj mccollum and spencer I can't say it because my, my video will get demonetized for cursing, but we all know what Kyle Kuzma did to Spencer Din. He, you already know, you know, you, you know what happened to, to Spencer. He got eviscerated on Twitter. That's all I'm saying. But you see, I built a playmaking shot creator. In my opinion, this is a pure playmaker. Um, 
Now, it, let me know if there's a way to get a pure playmaker name in the in the thing. If there is, I'm going to start making rare name builds as well for y'all. But like the hybrid defender that Jared Vanderbilt was yesterday. But with the bash pad, as I said, it was pretty balanced already. But if we're up to me, I would add plus four uh, badge upgrades to either playmaking or shooting. You know, I would preferably put them all toward shooting because i feel like you have enough playmaking badges but at the end of the day it is up to you for your defensive rebounding you could also add them to it but like there's no point in my opinion to adding extra badges toward your defensive and rebounding because you're not going to be able to get tier three of anything really so with this build it was very 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 fast very shifty very quick you know i could get to my spots easily and the biggest part about this is it was a pure playmaker that could shoot you know so it, it did allow me to diversify my shot selection it allowed me to get to the rim and also play in the mid-range area like this was definitely very good at getting to the mid-range area and shooting over defenders but on top of that i had hall of fame dimer equipped and as we know hall of fame dimer is very op in 2k so i was able to get a lot of people open and get a lot of assists out of this game so at the end of the day with this build it's one of those that requires a lot of iq if you don't don't have iq you're not going to be good with this bill you know because if you're just throwing like stevie wonders out there <laughs> if you're throwing stevie's out there just blind passes then clearly nobody's going to want to play with you you know you're going to be out there looking like daredevil without the super hearing and whatever he has you know you're going to be out there looking like ray charles like so you don't want to be playing with this build if you have low iq because it's not one of the builds that i normally make where you can get bailed out by just like playing three and d or just by like even with this build you could necessarily play three three and d because you have a high enough perimeter defense and interior defense but like no you don't want to play three and d with this build you want to be a good 2k player so with this build you do want some skill you want to be able to get to your spots like all the dribble cheese stuff like i don't think it works in the end because at the end of the day it's boring at the end of the day it's, it's pretty easy to defend if you know how to defend it so if you know what you're doing, you have high basketball IQ, it, it definitely does apply to the game. I don't think people understand that you, if you're going to play 2K, you need to have some sort of IQ. Because if you don't have any IQ while playing this game, you're going to get fried. You're going to get cooked at all instances. You know, so this is one of those builds that does require some IQ and some basketball skills. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Remember what 6K I'm saying? Comment down below any builds y'all want, and I'll eventually get to them. And once again, thank y'all for watching. I know it was a late upload, but I appreciate y'all for understanding. And yeah, until then, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.